This is another Maya quick tip. If you're working in Maya and you're rendering an Arnold and you decided to use a GPU renderer, but you notice that your renders are coming out incredibly grainy, there are a couple ways you can fix this. Traditionally, what we would do is we would go through and increase our sample size. However, in some instances, this isn't necessarily the best way to either get a good preview of what you're trying to do. If you're working with still renders and you're not trying to do any motion or anything, this is a good tool you can use to clean up your renders. So you can see we have a really grainy render here. We're not super happy. We have fireflies all over the image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my render settings, Arnold renderer, and you can see I'm leaving my camera samples at two just for this demonstration. We're going to go down to imagers. We're going to add an imager. We're going to use one of these denoisers. I tend to use optics and Odin because both of them give pretty good results. Odin, I've noticed, works a little bit better if you are rendering out motion elements. So if you have a rotational that you're rendering or anything like that, we're going to enable optics. We're not going to change any of these settings. And then we're going to go back into our renderer. And you can see immediately optics has gone through and cleaned the image up. We went from this super grainy mess to a more refined render that is cleaner and looks better. One of the issues that you can see with optics is that it does do some odd blending. So this is where you have to figure out how to balance your samples versus using optics. So generally, if I'm using optics, I will balance my samples out to about three or four. That way I get a decent render time and then optics kind of handles the rest. I recommend the denoiser tools while you're working on static projects. They can be a little bit tricky when you're working on rotationals and they can create grain or smudging. But in general, if you're just doing static renders, they're a really great tool to increase your render time so you have faster renders and cleaner results.